talk about uh, unracking a barbell as we're probably on a monolith. Uh, this is Ken Kim. He's going to demonstrate it. Uh, one of the things I see frequently uh, at a lot of meets is people unracking the weight in a way that's not helping their lift at all. They tend to leave quite a bit on the platform as a result. Uh, Kenny started here four years ago with a 215 squat. In four <laughs> years, uh, he's been able to from 215 to 775. One of the reasons of his, uh, for his progress is he's very technical when he lifts. Um, and one, one, of the, one of the things we're going to look at here is how he interacts the bar and the squat, how he sets the squat up for a big number. First thing he's going to do with the monolith is make sure his feet are in the right place, not too far forward or too far back. He should be directly under the bar. The bar should pretty much go through right to the center of the foot, essentially. From here you'll notice how he's, how he's finding the spot. He knows where his chest should go on the bar, and that's going to correspond to his foot position. You want to do the same thing every single time you approach the bar. If you approach it differently every time, your lift's going to be different. So he's going to wrap the bar. He has his marker right there with his chest, so he knows his feet are right on the bar. He's going to step into the bar. Right there. Okay. Notice when he gets on the bar, he pushes his butt back. Okay. A lot of people, they get the feet right and they pry themselves under on their quads and now they're going to end up forward with the lift. So what he's doing here, whether he's raw or in a sit, he's going to push back so he gets his hip position right from the start. Let's go forward with your knees under the bar. Nine times out of ten, the guy's going to unrack it on his quads. Now already all the way to back on his hips and his hamstring. Okay. This spot right here, you can see if you're going to take the bar, it's right over uh, the lower up. leg. Line up right with the shin. He's going to push his butt back. He's going to spread the floor hard by pushing out on the side of his feet. And he's going to start pulling his chest up. You notice as he pulls his chest up, his knee does not go forward. He maintains his arch. He's just pulling his chest up in this position here. So everything is tight. Much the same way you do when you bench press when you're squeezing your shoulders back and down. Okay? This part's crucial. Can I take it back out for a second? When a lot of guys set up, they start setting up right, they get under the bar, they pull their chest up, and they dip this way. And what's gonna, what that's going to what cause is you to stand up with your quads and go straight back down into your quads. Line it up, you push it back. Your butt's still back, you can arch and roll back. You spread the floor, start pulling his chest up. Now, from this point, he's going to stand straight up. Okay, stay right there. You'll notice when he stands up, the bar goes straight up from the hooks. Okay, rack it. Peel the weight out long. Peel, peel the weight out with your back. This is another thing we see all the time. Now all the weight is in his upper back and he has no weight here and his balance is going to be all screwed up. When you unrack, when you unrack the bar in the squat, if you're doing it properly, the bar should come straight up from the hooks. Rack it. Another thing we see a lot, and this tends to happen when a guy pushes his knees forward, go ahead and push it into the hooks on the way out. The guy will do this. Now he's stabilizing and get ready. I'm going to pull the hooks with it. When I pull the hooks, he's going to fall forward. So now he's fighting for his balance. All his weight is on his calves and his quads. He's not going to recover that position. Back it. If you start the lift wrong, it's going to end wrong. It's going to go bad pretty quickly, especially with max weights. So again, he's going to set it up right here. Put his back. He's going to pull the chest up without the knees going forward. Stand straight up. That's a perfect unrack. Now when he goes to squat, you can see these muscles here are already loaded. His hamstring are tight, his low back is tight. He had a belt on him, he's pushing his abs against the belt. So now the first motion, just sit back. The first motion is going to be back. If you're wearing a suit or a raw, it's still the correct form. You want to sit back as he forces the knees out to the side and opens up. Back. So from the front position, we're going to do this again. Get his hands facing. Set his feet. Mark him with his chest, now he goes right where he is. He'll push back into his hips, spread the floor, and push his butt back. Squeeze the bar out right from his hips, right there. Perfect position. Back. Yeah.